welcome back to my channel. My name is Dana, and on this channel, it's all about SMS beauty, which is skincare, makeup, sunscreen. And today we are talking about Kula Sun Silk Drops Sunscreen. So Kula is a brand, it actually was one of my very first videos on this channel. I used Kula sunscreen, that was like the only sunscreen. I didn't use this one, it was their matte version. I loved it, it was my all, and then I couldn't find it anymore. I mean, if you look in my purchase history, I think I repurchased it like six times over the course of a few years, but they stopped making it. And then Kula as a brand, like I feel like they just kind of dropped off. I don't know why their social marketing is kind of like, mm, and they just haven't been coming out with new stuff. But I had seen this for a while and I really wanted to test it out. So today I'm gonna to be going over the claims of this. And I do know that they have more than just this sunscreen. So it's kind of been one of those things where I'm like, do I purchase other ones? I haven't heard a lot of people talking about it or wanting to know. So I thought I would just start with this one because this one kind of seemed like the most, I don't know, exciting to me. And then if people want to hear more about other ones, of course I can review them, but we'll start off with this one for now. So a few claims about this to start off. This is SPF 30 and it retails for $46. Pretty pricey, especially because you are getting one fluid ounce, which is 30 milliliters. You do have this glass bottle. It's a very nice kind of glass packaging. This comes off, it's like a dropper. Let me show you like that. And then you can press this button here to get or expel the product. So that's kind of the basics of it. I have some thoughts on the packaging. I'll get to those, but let's go ahead, zoom in, put it on my face and I can talk through the other parts. Okay, so I always start out, especially when I'm trying a new product, I use the quarter teaspoon method. You do need a quarter teaspoon for your neck and face, face and neck, I, was, I don't know why I said that wrong. If you're using less, you're still gonna be getting the protection, but you might not be getting the actual number on the bottle from the brand. So this one says it's SPF 30. If you put on less, you might be getting SPF 15, you just don't know. So that's why using the correct amount is actually very important. And with this one, like I said, so it comes out with this long dropper and you press down and it pulls the product into the dropper. So I'm gonna do, let's see, this is, my hands are not working today. This is one dropper and it looks like it's about two. I feel like I've done this before and measured it because I have worn this many times. This is about two, maybe three, like two and a half is the correct amount. And then you get, yeah. So if you wanna be safe, I would say three full droppers and then you get the quarter teaspoon. And this is very, very liquid, so just keep that in mind. <laughs> like this is moving around, it looks like milk. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking and we'll apply it to my face. And we're done. So it is so, so easy to apply. As you can tell, there's no white cast whatsoever. This is a chemical or organic sunscreen. The filters in it, we have 2% avobenzone, 10% homosalate, 5% octosalate, and 6% octocrylene. So those are the filters. I have been able to put it all over my face, neck, even around my eyes. I've never had any eye sting from this and I have used like mm, maybe a fourth of the bottle so far. Like the packaging and the branding of this say, it is ultra lightweight and I would 100% agree with that. So one of the things that this like kind of Kula as a brand does is they say 70% of the ingredients are from organic sources. I think that's kind of a tricky way of making people think that it's like clean or green. And I'm not saying that those claims are not true, but I think it's a little bit of like greenwashing marketing. So that is something to keep in mind. 
So when I started doing research for this, one thing I did not like is that they said like in their how to use it, they said that use it solo or use it mixed with your moisturizer or foundation. And I don't love that because especially as a solely sunscreen brand, they should know that you really shouldn't be mixing it with other products. You can mix it with your moisturizer or your sunscreen or your foundation, excuse me, but that is kind of assuming that you already have a base layer on because anytime you are mixing it, it does kind of affect the formulation, especially if it's not meant to be mixed. So keep that in mind. If you are mixing, maybe do a base layer before, then you should have the right protection. I'm gonna go wash my hands, let it sit for a few minutes. I do like to do that before I kind of give you my final thoughts and then we'll come back. All right, we're back. It's been about five minutes and you can see what the final kind of finish of this is. So I do have my studio lights here. So you typically will, are gonna see like a little bit more of a shine just because the two bright lights shining in my face. But when I'm looking at myself in the mirror, there's like a glow, I would say like a radiant glow, but it's not dewy to the point where like you feel like it looks like you're actually wet. I had no skincare on underneath. I did want to try it that way because I think this is one of those products that you really kind of can make work for you in different ways. If I went heavy on the skincare beforehand, this would definitely pick up on that and have like an even more glowy kind of finish, but just on dry skin with no product underneath, it's gonna give you this kind of finish, at least if you have kind of like a normal to a little bit. So depending on what you put on underneath, it's gonna give you a kind of a different finish. Now I should say I have kind of like normal to sometimes oily skin and my skin does change depending on the season. So as we get into the warmer months, it's more normal to oily. In the colder, drier months, it's gonna be a little bit on the drier side, but I don't have typically like super dry skin. So if you do have drier skin, it might soak up immediately versus having more oily skin. So just kind of like know your own skin type and it can change. Also, one of the big claims on this, and they have it right here on the packaging, it says featuring blue screen digital de-stress technology. So kind of the claim on this is that it's supposed to help from blue light, infrared light, and like anti-pollution kind of thing don't necessarily go for that. I don't, I think blue light has kind of been proven to be maybe not a thing or just like, or there's just not enough research on it to say that like there are visible damages from that. If you're wearing sunscreen, you're probably gonna be protected from all those things if you believe in them. So I wouldn't say that like this is gonna help so much more than anything else. <laughs> I did also wanna point out that it does have a scent to it. There are quite a few essential oils and some extracts, not to say the extracts give a scent, but mainly the essential oils do. So I don't mind the scent at all. I think it's actually quite pleasant. Now that I'm telling you that, I can't actually pick out the scents. That, I'm terrible at that, but maybe like a florally citrusy scent, but like I wouldn't say so overpowering. It's a little bit more mild, but it's there. I have not had any irritation from it, but I don't have super sensitive skin. So I would say if you are sensitive to essential oils, just take a look at which, which ones are in it. And if there's something that you know you can't tolerate, maybe it's not for you. There is no cast. I don't think it's gonna have a cast on any skin tones, but again, it's a chemical or organic sunscreen, so really there shouldn't be. And then the last thing that I did wanna mention is it's not like gonna make me never wanna use it again. Actually, I really like this sunscreen, but I don't like these kind of droppers. I think I understand why they do it. When it's this liquidy, you kind of do need that, that or a pump. I would just prefer maybe a pump versus this because I think people are gonna just do like one and done. <laughs> but that's why I'm here to try to remind people to use the correct amount. So that's kind of one of those things and I feel like these dropper bottles tend to malfunction a little bit more. But you know, just trying to give you guys all the details about it. But overall, I have been pleasantly, pleasantly surprised by this. I understand that it's $46 for one fluid ounce, so it's a lot, but I think if you want a sunscreen that is just like no fuss, it's a little tacky, it's not gonna dry down completely, but this would be great under makeup. It's great alone, it's great in the summer, it's great in the winter, maybe not for the driest of skin types, but it's a really easy sunscreen. Like if you're willing to spend $46, I would recommend this over the other $46 ones, like I, all I think of are the Supergroups, like 100% this over Supergroup. 
And yeah, I haven't had any eye sting, no burning, no itching, no anything. It's just been a joy to put on. And honestly, like I continue to reach for it and I will probably use this all up, which is not the case because I have so many sunscreen. So again, very excited to have this in my life. I kind of held off on purchasing it for so long just because nobody talks about it and nobody's like, tell me more, but I'm happy to try it. And I hope you are happy for this review. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, we'll end it there. Keep it short and sweet. And I will see you guys in my next video. Do let me know if you want to see any more of the cooler brands and I will try to get those and review them for you. So until then, bye guys.